Hey, good morning, New Hope leaders. Excited to share with you another video that I hope encourages you in your ministry. This morning, I want to share with you one of my favorite verses in all the Bible on leadership, Psalm 78. Now, Psalm 78 is a rather long psalm, but it's, it's retelling through history of God's faithfulness to Israel and Israel's unfaithfulness in so many ways back to God. Now, at the end of the psalm, it zeroes in on David, and it highlights him and, and who he was and how God used him. That's what I want to focus on this morning, starting in verse 70. Uh, you can join me here in, in Psalm 78, starting in verse 70. Here's what it says. It says that he chose David his servant and took him from the sheep pens. From tending the sheep, he brought him to be the shepherd of his people, Jacob, of Israel, his inheritance. Now, a couple observations here that I, I love. The first is that notice it says that God chose David. And he still does that today, that ministry is a calling. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to get like writing in the sky or maybe an audible voice from God of do this and don't do that. But what it does mean is that you and I begin to trust God, jump in and start serving, that God begins to confirm calling and he begins to move you to the place that he wants to use you. And this becomes very exciting. Notice, in fact, it calls David, it says he chose David his servant, that David was already serving God. He already had that relationship with God and where David was at, he was serving God in that place. Now, where was David at? Interestingly enough, he wasn't royalty and he wasn't in high government. He was tending sheep. See, God, here's a second principle. God prepared David. How do you do it? By having him take care of sheep. This was an unglamorous job. This was a difficult job. This was a lonely job. This was a job that you were out there and nobody was with you and nobody knew if you were being faithful or not. It would be so easy for him to cut corners or to think, this is stupid and why am I doing this? I should be doing something better with my life. But no, David was faithful in that place and God used those years of tending sheep to prepare him to shepherd God's people. And the Lord does the same thing in your life as well. God is preparing you. So, so where you're serving today, you have no idea how God could use your experiences today for something he wants to do in and through your life tomorrow. We really have no idea. So we want to stay faithful right where we're at because God is using you and God is preparing you. Which brings us to our third principle in our last verse, verse 72, the last verse of the entire psalm. And it says this, and here's the key. And David shepherded them, the people of Israel that is, with two things now. Integrity of heart and with skillful hands, he led them. Notice here that we see with David this, this combining, this weaving together of two uh, characteristics or attributes. One, integrity of heart and skillful hands. The integrity of heart comes from a relationship with God. It's something that God does in you. These, we would call this being Christ-like or Jesus-like that we gain as we spend time in relationship with Him, as we abide in Christ, and we spend time in His Word and prayer and we obey Him. He begins to do a work in us and we all of a sudden become like Jesus and that uh, translates to integrity of heart. And then we also see that David had skillful hands. He, he had a skill set to be able to do the ministry, the work that God had called him to do. How do we grow in that? Well, it takes effort. Like for me in my life, uh, I have coaches I meet with that help me grow and challenge me. Um, I'm always reading. In fact, I'm, I just grabbed this book here. This is the book I'm working through today on, called Dangerous Calling, and it's all about pastoral ministry and some of the challenges that we face in pastoral ministry. Why? Because I want to grow and learn. Uh, these are the kinds of things that, that leaders do. Leaders are readers. Maybe you've heard that before. And so I want to give us some homework. I want to challenge you. Here's what I want to ask you to do, and it's one specific thing. I want you to go to a website. It's not the only website. It may not even be the best website, but it's a great place to go. It's called churchleaders.com. And over the next two weeks, I want to ask you to go to churchleaders.com, and I want to ask you to peruse around because this website is packed with articles and ideas and resources. If you're a small group leader, you just click on articles, scroll down, click small group. I'm a small group leader, and it pulls up the whole world page of just article after article of ideas and tips that you can use. Uh, it has it for youth ministry. It has it for kids ministry. It has it for uh, outreach. It has it for worship ministry. All these different areas of ministry that you might find yourself leading a ministry team and serving in, there's resources there for you. And so again, here's my, my challenge for us all. Go to that website over the next two weeks. In fact, next week, there's no video because I want to just carve out two weeks now that you and I, we go to this place, we begin to look around and find uh, just some nuggets, find some, some things that you can apply to your ministry. And in fact, if you find something really good, email that back to me because then I can send that out to the entire leadership community. And that will encourage all of us. So leadership, uh, this website, uh, churchleaders.com, check that out and enjoy that. Because here's what we know. 
we know that people want to follow a leader that has integrity of heart and skillful hands. But if we're missing one of those or both, it frustrates people. They don't want to follow a leader like that. We could have great skill but no integrity of heart, and that's frustrating. Or have great integrity of heart but no skill in what we're doing, and that's frustrating. So let's be men and women, who, who leaders that is, that, that want to honor God by growing an integrity of heart and skillful hands. I cannot wait to hear what you find. Happy searching on the website, and thanks for being great leaders. God bless.